part three. Now, for this part, we are gonna make a mug. We will finish, we will start by making a simple mug, as seen here. And then I will show you a contest in which we will all be creating mugs. First, open SolidWorks. Let it load. Get ready to press new, and then we're going to open a part. Like so. Now for it, we're going to follow the dimensions shown in the packet. Click revolve boss base. Click line. Create a line straight up, perpendicular to the vertical axes. Click escape. Smart to mention it, so it is 3.75 inches. To get inches, just type in inches. And it'll automatically set to the appropriate millimeters. Now create a line across. This one, now cl and click escape. This one will be 1.5 inches, because when we create our feature, oh, it'll then become 3. Whatever you set it will become double that when you create the revolve. Now create another vertical line down and another horizontal line. Now click escape and go to three point arc. Now zoom in, create an arc along the top and along the bottom. Both of them 90 degrees. Click escape. Go to smart dimension. Let's start with the top arc. Select it. We'll make the radius 2.5. And for the bottom one, that one will be 5. Now deselect, click escape to exit out of smart dimension. Go to display add relations. Select the two points. Make them horizontal to one another. Click OK. Then add another relation between this point and this point make them vertical. Now click OK. Now get the full view of your part by clicking F and do the same thing to the top. With the top ones being vertical to one another oh, or not. There we go. You and just select these two points here. Click OK. Go back and add another relation. Make sure the points you have are deselected. Like so. 
and select your other two points and make them horizontal. Click OK. Deselect everything and go to Trim Entities. Select the horizontal line here and the vertical point there. Make sure it's on Trim to Closest because otherwise you'll lose your mug. Click Yes so you lose your dimensions and do so at the bottom too. Click OK when you're done. Click Exit Sketch and select your inner axis and make sure it's going all the way around like so. Make sure thin feature is off otherwise it won't work. Click OK. And you have the base of your mug. We're not going to shell it out yet for a good reason. Now select the right plane, go normal to, click sketch. And this will become your profile for your sketch. So we're going to create two ellipses. Actually, I think we only need one, so. Because this will be your profile. Up there, and create an ellipse. Don't worry about positioning or anything, we will be able to fix everything. First, go add relation. Add a relation between the two verticals, make them vertical to each other. And then delete, make sure you deselect the points. And then between the two horizontal, make them horizontal to one another. Oh. Now we can deselect that, and we can dimension this ellipse. So click Smart Dimension, select the two outer points. Between them, we want it to be a 7.5 millimeter distance. And then between the two vertical, we'll make that 2.5. Click OK. Now we're going to make a distance between the ellipse and the top. And that'll be 10. Shoot. Let's make it 12. Like so. And then we want a dimension from there to there. We'll make it 35. Now deselect. Exit out a smart dimension and click exit sketch. Now you have your profile. Select the front plane now. Click go to normal 2. Click sketch. Select line. So you know what? Let's make it a three point arc. So select three point arc Should you, one thing to remember, make sure it's not on any point. Like so. So now you have your arc. Click Escape. Now we'll move it onto the line. Hmm. 
we are going to set the radius to 35. Deselect Smart Dimension. Go to Add Relation. Add a relation between the line. Third. Really quick. Add a temporary axis and set it on there. Click OK. Now we need to make a larger arc as seen. So now we're going to set to 45. See if we get more of what we want. Again, that hasn't worked the way we wanted it. Select your dimension again, and we'll add. See, now that's too much. So let's try 55. Again, that hasn't worked, so try 50. Now that's at a point where we like, so click OK, and now exit like sketch. <laughs> now go to Sweat Boss Base, and for the profile, select your ellipse. For the path, select your arc. Click OK. Okay, so now it's not worked. So now cancel. Now go back into your sketch 3 and edit the sketch. So what we have to do, if you saw that, is we have to take this and move it onto the sketch plane. And that would be our X. He's here. <coughs> so now that's not going to work. So let's try 45 again. And again, that hasn't worked, so you know what? Let's create a new demand, a new sketch. Make sure you're back normal to axis of revolution. We'll go to three point arc again. And let's try and get the angle as close to two hundred ten. Now click escape. Now smart dimension. Set the radius to 45. Let's escape out of there. there. Now click OK when you feel comfortable with what you have. And exit sketch. Now go back into the swept boss space and we can try again. Again make the ellipse the profile. Make that your path. And there you see it's how it will look. And click OK.
Let me click. We deselect everything. And for this, let's go to an isometric view. Have a look. That looks good, so now we gotta shell it out. Click shell as we normally would. Select show preview. And then the distance. Let's make that 0.5. Big cup. And click up. Now go into Tools, to View, Temporary Axes, Deselect. Now we got our cup, our mug, all set for coffee. Save it and call it Mug. Now let's have. Let me tell you about the contest. What we will be doing is we will have a we will be making also now a travel mug. Off of it. So here is the challenge. So now at the end of lesson 9, we have to create a top 2. So with them, we have to create both using the revolve feature. And then, now here are the rules. Now it has to be use the revolve feature, it can't just be circle, you build it up that way. It has to be a travel mug, meaning it has a base and a top. And then also, you have to also explain everything and how you did it. Anything found off the internet or di proved to be cheated is disqualified, and the winner gets a combo, second gets fries, third gets a pat on the back. Now here's an example I have made. Give me a oh yeah. Give me a I guess I can't find mine. So never mind. In any case, good luck. Let's see what you can make. Again, this is for a combo. Now one last time, save your mug. Close out. Good luck.